Hi everyone, Sheila Keeter here, your teacher for inclusion. I have a Teachers Pay Teachers shop as well as a blog called Teacher for Inclusion. If you're interested in videos that are all things Teachers Pay Teachers, please do not forget to hit sub subscribe. Today we are talking about Pinterest. Um, and one of the things I wanna, the first thing I wanna talk about is the algorithm. And that you don't need to get upset when Pinterest changes their algorithm. As long as you are pinning fresh pins every day and repinning at least 10 pins per day, then you will do just fine with an algorithm change. Um, anytime they introduce something new like uh, Pinterest uh, stories, well, it's not Pinterest stories, it's idea pins now, it was called Pinterest stories. It's something that you want to try out because they will reward you for using their new um, feature. And reward you means they'll show your pins to more people. Uh, one of the things I'm going to show you today is how to check your pins and make sure that they're landing on the, the correct page, meaning, excuse me, meaning that Pinterest is reading your pin correctly and they're showing them to the right audience. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're gonna go ahead and go to my Pinterest page here. And as you'll note, um, I have multiple pins. I'm gonna click on this particular pin. Now this is my Make Money on Teachers Pay Teachers course. I'm guessing it's on the right page because it has 12.88 thousand impressions, 14 saves, and 53 outbound clicks. So I want this course, this pin that's for a course, to be on a page where other people are also selling courses. Okay, so you'll note here, TPT seller dashboard, learn to sell on TPT, teacherpreneurship, how I make 8,000 in extra income from home, how she made 8,000 a month working at home. Okay, so on and so forth. And so this pin is on the correct page. So what do you do if your pin is somewhere that it shouldn't be? Well, you can either repin it and choose a different board using um, keywords. You need to make sure you use the correct keywords or these secret boards that you can create. And I'll show you where those are. You go to create, hit select, create pin. And you're going to select a pin. And then over here at the top right hand corner, where it has you select a board, you're going to go down to the very bottom. And you're going to hit create board. You're going to plug in the title. And once you do that, you're going to click on keep this board a secret. And then you'll hit create. What you can do with that then is you can pin pins on your secret board so that they don't go out and you can see which um, pages Pinterest reads your pin on which page it should go to. And if it's not going to the correct page that, it, because if it's, if it's not on the right page, then what's the point, right? But if it's not on the correct page, then you know you need to work on your SEO, you need to work on your keywords. You need a different image. Pinterest really um, does read the image and reads the text that's on your image. It's really strange, but it does. Um, and that's how you can kind of practice with your pin ahead of time. I heard someone recently talk about how followers don't matter on Pinterest. For one, you can't control how many followers you have, right? You can by, by only repinning beautiful pins and by creating beautiful pins. 
that will get you more followers, but you can't control the speed to which you gain followers. But I want to say that who you are following and followers are very important on Pinterest. Um, you should be following only people who are creating beautiful pins because when you go to your business feed and you, you go to business and you click on your home feed, the pins of all the people that you're following are going to pop up and you want to make sure that you are only saving beautiful pins because people who will follow you are going to look at your boards and they're not going to follow you. I mean, people who are serious about Pinterest, they're not going to follow you unless you have attractive looking pins on your board. So it's really important that you have people you're following that create beautiful pins and that um, and that you have beautiful boards, pins on your boards so that the right people are following you. All right. Hopefully this helped. And um, just very quickly, I have two courses now. I have a course for English teachers and um, that's about product production, logging, and Pinterest. And then I have a separate Pinterest course that is only $39.99 right now. Um, I'm going to raise the price because people sell the same or similar course for $250. So that will be in the notes below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.